Hi, good afternoon. I hope you're well. Welcome to the session on the River Team today, targeting Chubb. I'm on the Birmingham Anglers Association ticket and the river's a little bit, well, it is quite low and clear, so I think it's going to be a little bit tough today. It is um, quite bright, as you can see, so yeah, not the uh, not the greatest conditions, um, but yeah, we'll see how we get on. So as I say, I'm targeting Chubb today uh, on the float. I'll be um, trotting maggots. Um, I've got a couple of pints of uh, white maggots and uh, yeah, keeping it really, f fairly simple, really. Uh, I'll go through the gear shortly. But uh, yeah, hoping to nick a few chub, and then if anything else comes along, that's a bonus. But uh, I'll show you the um, the spot I'm I'm in today, uh, and the tackle, etc. And uh, then we'll get to it. Okay, this is the uh, this is the peg. I've had a little bit of difficulty, well, a lot of difficulty, uh, finding a clearing. Unfortunately, I haven't been brought my uh, petrol strimmer with me, which I. Which I could have done with to be honest so unfortunately uh, I'm very restricted just to this uh, one peg it's, which is uh, someone else has kindly cut out and no doubt fished so uh, I must admit uh, it does look good um, I've got a nice sort of shallow shallow run um, just over here so it's shallow, shallow it's quite shallow there and then I've got a nice uh, bit of cover on the far side uh, and it's a little bit deeper on the far side, so it does sort of deepen off. I've got a nice um, deep spot in front of me, but you can see how clear you can see how clear the water is. Yeah, there's no fish there. I can see that. So yeah, the, the uh, tactic will be to trot maggots on the far side of uh, of the river there, next to the cover, and then later on in the session, I might switch to uh, a feeder. So I'm feeding all my maggots upstream and no doubt they'll settle towards uh, uh, the end of the end of the peg there and I might try later on uh, maybe a feeder. So yeah that's the uh, that's the spot as I say it might be a little bit of a short video um, the team is uh, well the first challenge as I've mentioned is uh, available pegs M I might move to another stretch later we'll see but yeah, it might be a short video, nick a couple of chub and, and move on. But yeah, it looks good. As I say, the sun's shining brightly, which isn't great, but it is forecast to cloud up later on. Uh, and I think that'll improve, improve things, but you can see, perhaps you can see how clear it is and how, how shallow it is. But from looking at it, it's quite, quite deep in front of me. And then it does actually, I can actually see quite a few rocks and boulders, you know, towards the middle. Um, but I have fished this peg before, so I do know that it is a little bit deeper on the, on the far side. So. so yeah, see how we get on. The gear I'm using is uh, pretty simple. I've got my Drennan 13 foot float rod. That's a Drennan 7 series. I've got a fixed ball reel with six pound Drennan float fish and then I've just got a, a Drennan loafer float two and a half swan very simple shotting pattern most of the bulk um, towards the hook uh, and the hooks are size 14 to four pound line a couple of maggots on the hook so I've been feeding the swim for probably 20 minutes or so just to try and get a bit of interest and build the swim up so I think I might carry on doing that for another 10 minutes and then we'll have a run through. Fish on. Okay, we've got a small fish on. <coughs> oh, he's off. Are you literally kidding me? Oh, no. Okay. Try again. Oh, there's a fish. That's a better fish. Okay, that's not taken long. I think it was my uh, 
My third run down, I hooked into a small fish just right at the end of the run. And I was pretty annoyed that I'd lost that, if I'm honest. Managed not to swear though, which is good. And then I've just run it through again, and we've got a chub. Brilliant. Oh, lovely. Couple of pound. Okay, there we go, first fish of the session. Nice little chub, probably two and a half pounds, something like that. But yeah, in really good condition. Just on the uh, float fish maggots, just on the far side. And probably what, fourth cast, something like that. You know, that's uh, after feeding them up for, you know, probably 20 minutes or so. But uh, yeah, lovely fish, let's get it back. Okay, that's a good start. First chub in the net. So as I say, it was only a couple of pounds, but it was a lovely, lovely conditioned fish. Uh, what I'll do now, um, with the, I certainly do this with the team, um, is just uh, give the swim sort of five, ten minutes, just build it up again. It's obviously a very low, clear river. So yeah, you catch one and uh, it tends to, tends to spook the shoal. So yeah, I'll just give it five or ten minutes, just... Uh, feeding in the maggots and then we'll uh, try again okay not looking good second fish of the day little minnow it's all gone a bit quiet it's clouded over though which is uh, which is good so I think I'm going to carry on with the plan bait up a bit more and then uh, perhaps try feed up. Hi, good afternoon. All gone a little bit quiet. Uh, managed that small chub and a couple of pesky little minnows and that has been all. So I've given up uh, on the float. I've got a couple of couple of rods out uh, targeting really I suppose the barbel. Be good if a chub came along but I've got on the far side uh, two pieces of meat basically, ledger in, uh, ledger in a piece of meat. So I've put some hemp out, so I've catapulted out some hemp and on the left hand rod, downstream rod, I've got, uh, yeah I'll show you, so downstream rod there, I've just got towards the far side and that's a big, big lump of meat that I'm ledgering and that went out with a PVA bag of crushed boilies. And then the, the right hand rod, again over to the far side in that little gap, uh, as best as I can. And again, a big, uh, big lump of meat on there. So yes, yeah, so here we get on. I put, uh, as I said, I put some bait out. Got some hemp out. Got the a few boilies spread around. Conditions aren't great, unfortunately. The sun is still out. So I think it's a case of sitting back and. Uh, Keeping fingers and toes crossed and all sorts. Okay, just switched over to trot in again. And I've got a little chub. 
There you go. It's not quite what I'm after. <laughs> Lovely little fish though. Let's pop it back. There he goes. Whoa. Okay, into a better fish now. This one was taken all the way down at the end of the run and I had to, uh, I was looking through the tree, the gap in the tree there to, so I could see the float. Oh, it looks like it might be kiting to the far side. Might be a barbel. But it hasn't uh, gone on a big run like a barbel probably would. But it's coming up now. Hopefully it's a nice chub. I'd had the other what we got. We had the other rods out for barbel for an hour or so. What we got? Oh, it's a chub. Yeah, lovely. But you had the uh, barbel rods out on meat with no joy so I just fed the swim oh just fed the swim up with some maggots again and uh, here we go another chub yes brilliant okay there we go another nice chub Probably about the same size, two and a half, maybe three. But yeah, nice, uh, nice fish. It may, uh, I may get another one. I may sneak another one, but we'll see. But um, it's been a little bit slow today, a bit brighter than I thought it was going to be. But it's clouded over now, so you never know. I might have time for another. But yeah, really pleased with that. Hi, good evening, I hope you're well. Just wrapping up the session now. Just managed those two chub uh, and a few little smaller ones as well. Uh, it was a little bit tougher than I thought it was going to be today, to be honest, but um, I did enjoy um, doing a bit of trotting trotting on the uh, on the river. I haven't done that for a while, so... But yeah, as I say, it was a bit tough, but um, the conditions have improved some, somewhat now. It's clouded over and the sun's, uh, sun's uh, just sort of about to go down on cue the barbel rods are out so as i say i hope you enjoyed uh, the session and i'm going to give it another probably an hour or so and uh, you never know a barbel might come along but uh, until then i'll see you next time cheers